Here are a few tutorials for the game. I'm going to try to see if I can do all of these. Whether you want to perform the entire works of Billy Shakespeare through interpretive dance or just give a cheeky smile now and again, you need to know how to animate your sackboard. The directional buttons are your emotional coordinates. So let's have a fat one, shall we? Press up to make him smile like you've just been given a box of Much like Little Big Planet. Press um, the regular game. Press left to make him scared. The box is ticking. Press right to make him angry. And <laughs> risk what she was hearing. Use the limb buttons and sticks to move his arms. And if you tilt the controller, his bumps will move about. There you have it. Your very own sack puppet. Always warm your hands. Oh, I like that. Dressing up and pimping out. Just a reminder about your style files in the pocket. Select characters to spruce up your sack boy in a variety of differing materials and accessories. The next page button is your virtual window shopping tool. Follow the latest carting fashions or set some new ones. Pressing the action button applies the outfit. Not sure whether something goes with your current mood. Oh, I like that costume. Ha! <laughs> There's a wash facility to strip back your sack body to nutty mode so you can start again. And what about your trolley, your wheels, your ride? It needs some individualizing too. Open pocket and select car. It's a veritable cart sales room of vehicular choices. Put a deposit down on one with the action button. And the options aren't just cosmetic. Oh no, sir. Press next page to view the specs on offer. Body kit, customized wheels, heated seats, whatever you want. I like that. I like that car. And once you're done, close Peter Poppet and there's your jabot. Rotate allows you a good look round it to metaphorically kick the tires. If you're happy, let's boogie. Oh yes, most definitely I'm going to get it. Sorry for the glitching. Like I said, I need a new um, component splitter. I'm going to try to fix it as much as I can so it doesn't keep switching and messing up the video. And here comes the rest of the tutorials.